In the 1860s, ukiyo-e, Japanese paintings, became a source of inspiration for Western artists, and helped shape the artistic movement known as Japanism. In this video, we will be seeing an example of ukiyo-e, the 53 stations of the Tokaido. The series of ukiyo-e prints featured in this video, titled The 53 Stations of the Tokaido, was created by the painter Yutagawa Hiroshigi. He was born into a family of low-ranking samurai. At the age of 13, when his father passed, he became a firefighter, continuing the family business. Lower-ranked samurais often sought additional work to support their families, and Hiroshigi, as the family patriarch, began painting on the side. For a considerable period, he focused on popular themes such as celebrity portraits, including female beauties and kabuki actors. At the age of 37, he seized the opportunity to create this series of landscape prints, gaining recognition as a top painter. Let's take a closer look at the ukiyo-e prints. In our previous video, we stopped at Yoshiwara. Now, we are heading to Kanbara. This is the post town of Kanbara. The contrasting dark and light ink tones skillfully capture the serenity of a late snowy night. Despite Hiroshigi's journey on the Tokaido Highway occurring in summer, he envisioned snow in his mind and sketched this scene, turning it into one of the most renowned ukiyo-e works in the world. The figures are clad in traditional rain gear called mino and all-weather hats called kasa. While one individual is using an umbrella made of wax paper, also called kasa, with a different kanji letter. He wears the umbrella like a hat, partially open, to prevent snow from accumulating on it. This is a mountain pass located at a distance from the Yui Post town. The landscape features mountains extending into the sea. The pine tree branches are bent by the strong sea winds. The view of Mount Fuji from this spot is renowned for its beauty. To appreciate the scenery, travelers daringly lean over the cliff, despite the height. After traversing the mountain pass, you'll reach the Okitsu River east of the Okitsu Post Town. The river's shallow bottom allows for a relaxed crossing. The travelers crossing the river are sumo wrestlers. Supported by four men, the wrestler on the litter doesn't fit in the seat. The horse behind them droops its head under the weight of another hefty wrestler. The bustling Ajiri port, a hub for trade and fishing, is portrayed with numerous boats anchored in its waters. This perspective captures the port's panoramic view from Mount Kunozen, a popular tourist destination located beyond Ajiri. Renowned as the tomb of the first Edo shogun, Ieyasu, Mount Kunozen adds historical significance to the scene. Beyond the port, a famous sightseeing spot with a picturesque coastal view adorned with pine trees Mihono Matsubara unfolds. This is the Abe River in Fuchu. By the shogunate's decree, the construction of bridges or boat crossings was prohibited on certain rivers. To cross such rivers, travelers relied on bearers. Travelers obtained tickets known as kawafuda, with one ticket required for each bearer hired. For example, when riding on a bearer's shoulders, it costs one ticket. When you have additional luggage, hiring another bearer requires an extra ticket. When using a litter involves a total expenditure of six tickets, four for the bearers and two for the litter itself. The ticket price varies based on the water level to which the bearer's body is exposed. Here are the rates. Depth below the crotch, 48 mons. Depth below the waist belt, 52 mons. Depth above the waist belt, 68 mons. Depth below the nipples, 78 mons. Depth below the armpits, 94 mons. Passage is prohibited if the water exceeds armpit depth, which is more than 136 centimeters. Close by, there were rows of shops offering the renowned Abukawa Machi. This delicacy is a rice cake crafted from glutinous rice, steamed, mashed, and coated with yellow soybean flour and white sugar. 
Its texture is soft and chewy, best enjoyed hot, as it tends to harden when cold. It gained fame for this delicacy that appears to be dusted with gold, as the Umagashima gold mine is located upstream along the river. In early spring, just as plum blossoms are on the verge of blooming, there's a famous cafe in Mariko Post Town. This cafe is mentioned in Basho's haiku poem and in the novel Tokaido Chu Hizakuri Gay. The cafe displays a sign that reads Specialty Talalajiru. This specialty is a soup made by grating yam and combining it with mushrooms, kelp, or fish-based broth. Typically served over steamed rice, this dish boasts a distinctive sticky and slimy texture. The yam used, known as jinningjiao, is a rare and prized ingredient limited to specific regions because cultivation methods were undiscovered during that era. We are at a pass just before the Okabe post town. Lumberjacks are busy transporting firewood along steep mountain paths beside a fast-flowing creek. A woman is heading home after collecting firewood for the evening. In various accounts, this route is known as a lonely road through overgrown ivy. It is also famous as the setting for the kabuki ghost story Tsutamomiji Otsunoya Toge. Originally established by Hideyoshi during his Kanto region expedition, the road later developed into a post town during the Edo shogunate. We stand at a relay office in Fujieda post town. These relay offices functioned as posting stations, drawing people in and contributing to the post town's development. In front of the office, a samurai and a subordinate are engaged in a meeting for the cargo handover, carefully checking a ledger. A staff member is busy fitting new straw horseshoes, and another is replacing cargo from an arriving horse. It's noteworthy that, despite the long-standing tradition of ox-drawn wagons being used as vehicles for aristocrats in Japan, the adoption of horse-drawn wagons for transporting goods did not materialize. We are heading towards the Shimada and Kanaya post towns, the most challenging obstacle on the Tokaido Highway. This is the current satellite photo of the area. The highway runs like this, and the Oi River flows between the post town of Shimada on the right and Kanaya on the left. The river spans over 1,000 meters, usually featuring numerous sandbars. The water level could change very quickly, and crossing was prohibited when it exceeded the depth of the human armpit. Hence, the prudent travel advice persists, prioritize crossing the river before lodging. This advice has now become a saying, conveying the meaning. Think ahead and take measures, don't procrastinate when it comes to essential tasks. Here is the Oi River, seen from the Edo side. Given that 70% of Japan's land is mountainous with a rainy climate, the rivers often swell after rain. These rocks function as a barrier, preventing water from inundating the town during elevated water levels. At this moment, a daimyo's procession is crossing the river, with accompanying samurai patiently waiting. Behind them, ordinary travelers form a line, but it may not be possible to cross the river today due to the current crowded conditions. This is the latter half of the Oi River crossing, with the Kanaya post town visible at the mountain's base on the opposite side. The forefront of the daimyo procession seems to have already completed the river crossing. Currently, the daimyo and his litter are in the process of crossing the river, carried in a specialized litter. In this instance, there are 16 litter bearers and 4 supporters, totaling 20 tickets, with an additional 32 tickets for the special litter, making a total of 52 tickets. If the water level reaches the human armpit, the cost amounts to 1,026.5 US dollars. The Ukiyo-e Lord Yoritamo's procession at the Oi River, by Yutagawa Yashitsuya, portrays a moment from 1863 when Tokugawa Iemachi, the 14th shogun of the Edo shogunate, crossed the river on his way to Kyoto. With the direct depiction of shoguns being prohibited, this print suggests that the person crossing the river is Minamoto no Yoritamo, the first shogun of the Kamakura shogunate. This marks the first time in 230 years that a shogun is traveling to Kyoto, 
and stringent safety measures distinguish this event from those of the previous daimyo mentioned. Approximately 120 laborers support the shogun's litter, with lines of samurais and laborers strategically positioned to counter the water current's impact. In case of an emergency, a downstream net is ready to catch the shogun. To be direct, if ferry boats were available, crossing the challenging Oi River would have been significantly easier. In reality, numerous petitions were submitted to the shogunate, seeking permission for ferry boats to operate on the river. However, the shogunate consistently rejected these requests. One major reason was the defense of Edo City, and another concern, as it is said, was the potential increase in unemployment resulting from the decline of significant industries. At its peak, on each bank of Shimada and Kanaya, 650 people were on standby, making it a substantial enterprise with a total of 1,300 employees. With its extensive interests at stake, the shogunate likely aimed to protect these operations. In fact, the shogunate strictly mandated the use of transporters when crossing the river. Reports suggest that severe punishments were imposed by the shogunate on anyone attempting to cross the river by boat or by swimming, bypassing the designated crossing points. Help motivate us to make more videos by liking and subscribing. Thank you for watching.